Everyone has a story. Mine started 20 years ago in a small town called Augusta, Georgia. Along my journey to my goals, I make sure to enjoy the game I love with friends. We laugh, trash talk, and share stories. We make Saturdays our best day. This is a game I love. This is a game I live for. This is Saturday Force. Golf is such a beautiful game. It brings people together from all kinds of backgrounds and places. You never know who you will meet, what kind of knowledge you will gain, or what you will learn. This Saturday, I'm joined by my most diverse group I've ever played golf with. From a beginner, to a tech genius, to a former NFL star. I can't wait to learn more about these amazing people and see where our conversations take us. Ronnie Brown, Auburn football standout, NFL running back, and now giving back to the young athletes through wealth management. Monique Billings, WNBA star for the Atlanta Dream and one of the kindest people you will ever meet. Zach Bishop, Executive Vice President of Tech and Innovation at Sonovas Bank and one of the most connected people in Atlanta. During COVID, golf exploded. There's never been more people enjoying the outdoors and trying out this great game. From the time Monique arrived, she was really intrigued by the atmosphere and the scenery at Atlanta Country Club. She excels at everything she does and she wants the same for a newfound hobby. Before we get started, I headed over to the putting green to show her how it's done. A lot of times beginners are discouraged from the game of golf because they see the huge golf course and they have no experience and get intimidated by the game. But when you go out, go with somebody who's played before and have fun at it. That's the key. What's going on guys? Hey. Welcome to Atlanta Country Club. Mo's been here for about four hours putting, so y'all in big trouble today, just so y'all know. Yeah, I might need a little help. That's okay. That, Zach's got you. Yeah. Zach's got oh, you got back. It. Yeah, I You're got it. You're getting for it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so how about me and Mo against y'all two today? We'll go out, we'll play a little scramble, have some fun, enjoy the day. We got a great one for you. Um, golf course is in great shape. We're about to have our member-member tournament, so you guys are in for a treat. So I'm really excited about it. Great. Awesome. I like it. Awesome. Let's Look do forward it. to it. Mm -hmm. Now that we are all warmed up, it's time to head to the golf course. There's nothing like getting to the first tee box and starting off the day. Part 3 13th hole is one of the most beautiful holes in the world. I always look forward to bringing out guests and showing this iconic hole off. Be it beautiful, it is also a great chance to have a closest to the pin competition to keep everyone engaged. Guys, welcome to the signature hole here at Atlanta Country Club, hole number 13. As you can tell, there's no shortage of beauty here on this hole. Um, you know, we pushed our first hole. You know, we're tired coming in here, Mo, but you know, I feel good about what we're doing. We're, you know, we're taking it slow. Slow we'll and steady wins the race, right? Slow and steady wins the race, that's right. And we look good while we're doing it. That, that's the most important part. But anyway, guys, I would love to ask y'all, what do you think about a little closest to the pin challenge here? Well, how, how does that make y'all feel? What do you think? I like the, just the over the creek challenge. <laughs> <laughs> just get it over the yeah, creek. Over the creek challenge. <laughs> over the, make it over the creek, you right. win. Okay, that, that's fair enough. Let's I'm see. all about evening the eyes, so. Okay. Closer to the creek, we still get a five yard grace. Five yard, oh, so you want five foot, foot grace. Five, five foot grace, yeah. okay. Oh, give like us a five. five. That's cool. Five, I know, I see, thought about that. But. You lost yourself 10 feet. 
That's nego I've negotiation. See, Mo, this is how yep. this works. I see. He said yeah. five feet. Five foot, Greg. We'll give him five feet. Okay. Five yeah. feet. Okay. All right, all right. Well, I'll go ahead and lead the way, show y'all how it's done, give you something to shoot at. Let's go, E. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Woo! I think I got a shot. Got to get up there. Okay, all right, we dancing. All right, we got that. We're on the floor, right, we're on the we floor. Got plus five, so I got a... Oh man, he might have did it. Whoa, whoa, it's leaking. Oh no, wait. Oh. Here you go, here you go, Ronnie. We get another chance. It's, 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 yeah, it's all right, it's all right. You up, you up, you up. We got to put the pressure, we got to put the pressure squarely on you. No, not enough. Not enough. All right. Not enough. Come I on, I was fortunate enough to not only win the closest to the pin challenge, but as well as the over the creek challenge. But it's all good. I'm enjoying my group and we're having fun, which is most important. As we head to the 14th tee box, I'm reminded that even though my group is from different places and backgrounds, it's amazing on how small the world truly is. I'm reminded on how everybody's worlds are more connected than we thought. Well guys, we made it here to the 14th hole, but before we start, I wanna talk about something that affects us all. You know, we all have some type of background or dealings in the financial area. Um, and Ronnie, I wanted to ask you, you know, with your experience now with dealing with wealth management, you know, how would you take a star player like Mo here and kind of advise her, you know, as she becomes, you know, more of a veteran in the league? Yeah, I think for me, it's, it's simple. Um, early in the process from my own experience, the number one suggestion that I would have is get involved. Mm -hmm. uh, too often, we get too many people that, you know, volunteer to assist, but it's like, don't worry about it. Let me handle it for you. Um, and a lot of times, because we feel intimidated for the process, we don't right. even know a lot of people who've been in that situation, we tend to shy away from it. Um, and so just as we do with our agents, uh, those other people that we work with, those business professionals, I think it's just as important, if not more important, to get involved on the financial side of mm -hmm. it. Because at the end of the day, once the athlete falls off, you're just an individual with money. Um, and so the big part about it is being able to, you know, build a foundation to be able to do that in a responsible manner. Gotcha. Along with getting involved, what would you tell your 25-year-old self when you were playing? Um, you know, don't rush the process. Um, mm. You know, because I think just my understanding of it now is, you know, too many times you get all these people coming at you and you get overwhelmed. Yeah. And so my thing is, if you don't understand something, don't do nothing. Mm. Um, and so you can never make a mistake by not doing anything and just being responsible, educating yourself on the process. And then just as you did when you were in your career, you were trying to choose colleges and universities, yeah. It's the same thing, like try to figure it out, assess all the information, take in the information, digest it and choose and make those decisions when you're comfortable. That's why it's most definitely Mo. And, you know, with you playing, you know, overseas and off season, you know, what are mm -hmm. some of the things you're doing to maximize, you know, your, your potential as you're still playing? Like while you're in your career? Just making sure I learn, kind of like Ronnie just said, um, just knowing before I make a move or take action, there's, you know, a lot that I want to learn about crypto and Bitcoin and all these different terms and just doing my own research and asking friends, having those conversations rather than just scrolling on social media all day. Right, most most definitely, most definitely. And Zach, you know, I know you deal with that a lot with innovation with Synovus, you know, how do you use some of the things or some of the tools that y'all have to help, you know, people who are trying to navigate their financial uh, process? Now it's just changed so much. And you talk about Bitcoin and, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're prepping to launch um, a, a black credit card that gets Bitcoin rewards instead of cash rewards back wow. just because if you're nervous about going in, well, you might as well get the rewards and you're not as nervous or, um, you know, offering buy, sell, trade on our app. And, you know, I think mm. all the banks are doing it, but it, it really is 
um, a part of kind of our everyday finance now where yeah. back in the day it was just a concept and 2012 I was actually running mining machines in my garage so I got into it early on but man it's just exciting and it's just different you start think about you know trust and family assets and tax planning and all of this and where does crypto fall into it you got to have somebody smart to advise and guide you on it mm. most definitely most definitely yeah I, I know nothing about crypto but it's very <laughs> interesting I, you know I have a lot of friends that talk about it and yeah. you know it's definitely something I want to I want to get into eventually mm -hmm. you know uh, the more I can learn about it now somebody who has questions like that can they come into a branch and talk to someone how are you guys like preparing for that conversation yeah, maybe, maybe not a branch but we are starting to publish more information online I mean there's a lot of people I mean pretty much anybody in the tech Bill can can help you and guide you along the way. But I don't think branches are there yet, but our digital apps, all the banks are going to start to be able to answer those questions for you th through a vertical of that. Nice, nice. Love it, love it. So we finally make it to the 16th hole. For some reason, this seems to be everybody's favorite hole when they come play it Saturday for some. I really want one of the guys or Monique to get this hole in one and somebody win this brand new 2021 Charger from Landmark Dodge. All right, y'all, we've made it to hole number 16, our hole in one hole presented by Landmark Dodge. And on the line today, we have a 2021 Dodge Charger RT with the Hemi Big Boy engine in it. It's ready to run. I want somebody to make this hole in one. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. I think it's gonna be Monique. I think so, I think so. <laughs> she gets a couple yards on us and she's been warming up. She's been getting better every hole. So I feel good about it. I feel good about it. How you feel about your chances, Ronnie? What you think? My chances? Your chances. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to go for the green. You just trying to go yeah. for the green? Yeah, come on. Bonus. Like we're about if you, 195. Yeah. I think I can do it, but you know. Come we'll on, see. you should do it. The car matches your hat, your Eastside Golf hat. It, it matches. Would, like, yep. I see, you right. See? Now that we think about it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wouldn't be a bad idea. That's what I'm to saying. Get a new car. I'm telling you right now. When I make this shot, I'm taking off running that way. What if I'm, we both make it? Whoever uh -oh. goes first gets to have a car. Okay. You want to go first? I'll let you go no, first. No, 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 no. <laughs> see how perfection is done. I okay, like, okay. And I believe success leaves clues. Okay, so. I'm, I'm gonna give you a ride though. When we go see Mo play, I'll give you a ride. I'll come pick you up. I like it. There it is. I got the soda. There you see. <laughs> All right, there, there we go. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. What do you? What do you? What iron you have? Five. This is six. Six. I'm gonna have to rope it. So I'm gonna try to start it to the right and let it. Come back in. I'm gonna have to hit it hard, but if I hit a five, it'll it'll go. I think it'll go away. Oh, I try to hit it too hard. Oh, that's no good. It's bad as Mike. Yep. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I didn't even scare. <laughs> Oh, it's on point. Right on it. Oh, get, 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 get. Uh, All right. It was a nice line. Yeah. You had the line. Yeah. You had the line. That was on point. All right, Mo. Big swing. You got this. Best finish of the day here. Yep. Nice. Good ball. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. I see you. Uh -huh. Let's get it. Uh -huh. Let's get it. All right, it comes down to you, my friend. Four. 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 Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, nobody got the hole in one this time, but hey, we'll give it another shot another Saturday. Cool. We'll give it another shot. Let's finish I like this it. out. I like it. Let's do it. Nobody made the hole in one today on 16, but I was able to share some valuable tips with my crew before we finish out the day. Uh, look at him. Just walking it in. The best part of golf is getting to know new people. You never know who you may meet, the business deals that can be made, and the new friends you can connect with. Before we finish for the day, my group and I connect and share some stories. Yeah, so, you know, Liz and Christy are great. I'll never forget when I first came in um, to Sonova to kind of pitch the idea for the show. 
I was meeting with both of them, suited and booted, ready to go. And, um, you know, probably within 10 minutes, you know, they were, they were, Liz was kind of t giving Chrissy some direction. Back of my mind, I'm like, oh man, this is going kind of good. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> well, buying. They fell for it. Right? Yeah, they're yeah, yeah, yeah they're, awesome. they're buying it. No, this that's is great. Awesome. That's great. But it's crazy, you know, just like, you know, being an entrepreneur and, and trying to have more, you know, everything is a stretch. Everything right. is an idea that you're going to, you know, pitch to somebody. Every, everything I think that you do you know some people may look at him like no that, that'll never happen or no but you just got to trust it and like and go with it you know and that's just that's just a part of it the worst you can hear is no but you can't be as you know afraid to ask or you know to you know go for it so yeah i, t I tell people that all the time you know just go for it worst yeah. they can say is no right worst they can say is no yeah i love that yeah and always believing in yourself is super important too no matter how many no's you hear just keep going if you believe in yourself I think people can pick up on that a lot too. Like yeah. when you either you asking for or, or you trying to tell them something or pitch them something, like they can pick up on it. You know, if if, if you don't believe in what you're saying, and I, you know, I I think that's so important. Even like when you're playing, you know, if you don't believe you're gonna make the the shot, it's, yep. it's probably not gonna fall, right? Exactly. It's all mental. It's mm -hmm. all mental. Before you shoot it, you got to know that you're gonna make it. Exactly. Exactly. Now y'all don't know this, but Zach is one of the most interesting men on the face of this earth. He's friends with Larry Fitz, Playboy Cardi. I mean, he knows everybody in Atlanta. And we would love to know, how do you know all these people? Who are you? That is a good question. Yeah, who, who are you? Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, just, I get around uh, here see? and there. I see? got some friends. See how he's uh, No, I got a great friend that lives next door to him. I, you know, uh, met Larry Fitz uh, uh, a couple times. We were at the uh, sitting courtside at the Hawks game a couple days before he was going to play golf at a certain place with a certain person that we all knew and um, just all the connections started forming. Wow. That's cool. Wow. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. That's crazy how connections are, are everything in yeah. every every business. And I know like, you know, with you being in kind of financials and everything like that, wealth yeah. management, I'm sure you see that with getting new clients and things of that nature. Yeah, it, it's weird just how small the world is, um, you know, because mm -hmm. you run into people and then it's like, wait a minute, like, we know people in common, like mm -hmm. how you and I hooked up um, through common friends who went to different universities, uh, but our relationships, um, you know, all of us ending up on the golf course together. Um, I think it's pretty cool, you know, and it's, the world, as big as it is, it's a pretty small place yeah. um, when you talk about relationships mm -hmm. and, you know, what drives those relationships. There's more, more commonalities than there are differences between you know, I think a lot of us, as we, we mm. realize it, like, I was like, wait a minute, like, you know them too? Like, oh, I know them too. Mm -hmm. um, we met at this or we met at that. And it's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I enjoy doing that as well. Or, so it's pretty cool. I enjoy that part about life. Yeah, most definitely. And now, Mo, you can be like, yeah, I, I played golf with Zach, you know, the other day. And they were like, what? You right, exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm uh -huh. with greatness. I'm surrounded by greatness today. Oh, uh, come on. I don't come know on. about that on the yeah, golf course. <laughs> <laughs> we got somebody yeah, great. Oh, yeah. come on, come on. Y'all are pretty great. Come on. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we made it to our final hole. I say we finish it out strong. Mo, this is our time to shine. Let's get it. Let's do it, let's time do it. To close it out. All right, let's close it out, y'all. <laughs> Monique has been working hard on her game all day. Even though this is her first time on the golf course, before we finished up on the 18th hole, she showed us that she's got it. Just enough to keep her coming back for more. Mo, this is your time. A little closer. There you go. Perfect. Oh. That's all right. Hold the finish. You got it. Your drive is on land. <laughs> and you're inbound. And, and you're inbound. inbound. See? Like, that's a win-win. <laughs> God, not everybody's in. We make it to the 18th green and we're faced with a long putt to end the day. We're gonna see if we can finish with a bang and leave here with a memory that'll stay with us for a while. If you make it, you going in the water? In the water. In yes. the water. He's gonna jump in the water when he makes it. He's got a chance. Uh-oh. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, dude, like, dude, that was awesome. Oh, yeah. That on. was so great. Come on. Go, go. He really didn't want to get in the water. <laughs> what an amazing Saturday. I met new people, helped a beginning golfer who I'm sure will play for a lifetime, and is always learned an immense amount. The next time you're playing golf, Try to join up with someone you've never met. I guarantee you will add to your experience. We'll see you soon on Saturday Foursome.